Definitely some of you all, LeBron, he practices Afroecology, other people practice Afroecology, who are reconnecting uh, back to their ancestral roots, back to the land, back to um, our traditional ways of living, traditional ways of knowing. And so the definition goes as follows. Afroecology is a form of art, movement, practice, and process of social and ecological transformation that involves the re-evaluation of our sacred relationships with land, water, air, seeds, and food. Re recognizes humans as co-creators that are an aspect of the planet's life support system. Values the Afro-Indigenous experience of reality and ways of knowing. Cherishes, cherishes ancestral and communal forms of knowledge experience and life ways that begin that began in Africa and continue throughout the diaspora and is rooted in the agrarian traditions, legacies, and struggles of the black experience in the Americas. And so the Black Deaf Farm Collective, we host an annual uh, agroecology and Afroecology retreats. Our Afroecology retreats are held on the eastern shore of Maryland where our water, watermelons are from. Our partner Sade is selling watermelons. Uh, the Afroecology retreats are held on uh, Harriet Tubman's ancestral grounds. We know about Harriet Tubman, she's from the Eastern Shore of Maryland. So the, the, uh, the land is owned by two black women, two elders. And we have uh, people from all over, kind of up and down the East Coast. And we camp out there for like three to four days at a time. And we have skill shares. It's a beautiful experience. Um, so I definitely invite, definitely, Deron, of course. Hopefully he can bring a crew from Richmond down. Or you can come down, connect with me. Come down and learn about it. And we're really talking, we're talking about food. Oh, you're right, I'm sorry. Up there. <laughs> we in Richmond, I'm sorry. Right. <laughs> so come up there to the Eastern Shore. Um, definitely come. Um, we're talking a lot about food sovereignty. We're talking about food justice, also food sovereignty. And, and food sovereignty is about ownership of land and really controlling um, our resources in our community. In D.C., there's mass gentrification and displacement. I'm not sure. I'm, it might be happening down here as well. But really, you know, sovereignty is really addressing that. Um, and so that's what we're talking about with Afroecology. So appreciate Deron for allowing me to come down here. Um, love to connect with anybody who wants to connect. Definitely um, would love to tell you more about Afroecology. We have a youth retreat coming up in September on the 29th. We're trying to put it together. So anybody who wants to come out there and camp with us and learn, um, we can exchange information and I can plug you in. Right. Much love. Uh, what about the watermelon? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, so Deron wanted me to speak about the watermelon. So uh, a few years ago, I was talking to Deron about um, what would it look like to have our own... Uh, there's a lot of people growing food, but we know in urban areas, we probably don't have the capacity... We, we don't have the capacity to grow all the food that we need um, for, our, for our community consumption. So what would it look like if we connected with rural farmers and, and source food from rural farmers, you know. And so that's kind of what this watermelon project is about. On the Black Dirt Farm Collective, we connected with farmers uh, that have kind of 300 acres of watermelon under production, and we're bringing them into D.C., uh, B.G. County, and Baltimore, and just testing out, like, what it would look like if we connected with people in Richmond and, and we got food to, to Deron or and vice versa. So that's what it's about, just trying to um, expand that and, um, you know, create sovereignty and create a way of, of life that's uh, defined by ourselves.